Hello students, it's your instructor John Mandiola here again with another screencast. Ah, there we go. Alright, this one we're going to be linking text boxes, or sometimes I call them text containers. And that's going to be really important when you start doing your annual reports because you're going to want to have uh, blocks of text linked together instead of having to hit a bunch of returns and a bunch of copying and pasting. You're going to want to flow smoothly just like a magazine article or a book or a brochure or what have you. So to do that, it's really easy, you just have to know how to click in two different things. So as you can see here, I have my layout. Uh, it's going to be Bulldogs football newsletter for sake of this demonstration. Uh, so first I want to draw a text box. And actually first I'm going to take this yellow box and bring that up. There we go. Now I'm going to take my text tool and I'm just going to draw a text box or text container. Maybe about that tall. There we go. And click the black arrow and click off. And now I'm going to draw one more grab my text tool again and draw another text container just like this. If you have CS4, which I believe most of you do, you'll notice that if you can see these light green lines, they will kind of snap it and align it for you if you'd like to. And in this case I do. So I'll let that go. And that's good. And I'll take this. My black arrow and I'll position this over closer just a little bit like that. Again, the green lines appearing to line everything up. That looks really nice. Notice how the right edge of this one is in line with the right edge of the masthead, which looks really good. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this first box, and I'm going to go to Type, all the way down to Fill with Placeholder Text. Hopefully you can see that on your screen. Fill with Placeholder Text, at the very bottom of the Type menu. I'm going to click that. What it's going to do, it fills it in with a bunch of uh, junk text. I'm going to grab the magnifying glass and zoom in on this. It fills it in with a bunch of garbage text. Just placeholder text. The idea being that it doesn't, you know, it's, you're not really reading it for what it says, you just looking at it to see what the text will look like. Well, filled in here, but not here. And what I could do is go into this text box and do the same thing. What I'm going to do, though, is just link the text boxes. That way, any changes I make, the text will flow smoothly between the boxes. So to do that, I'm going to click on my white arrow, otherwise known as the Direct Selection Tool, the white arrow. I'm going to click on the first text box. And at the very bottom right, just above the bottom right anchor, there's a little white node. It's a little white box. I'm going to click on that little white box. And once I do that, I'll notice that my cursor, um, it has a little paragraph graphic, a text box graphic, and the text immediately after it. That's a text that's currently not being shown. Click in there. If I hover over another text box, you'll see that change to a chain link. I'm going to click on that text box. The text will link over. Now, the reason why I didn't link over is because there's no text to move over. Okay. But I'm going to go here. Click back inside, just inside the L, right in the beginning here. And go again, type fill with placeholder text, very bottom of the menu. It fills more text, and notice, bam, it shifts it all over. And again, what's nice about this, if I go here and I delete some words here, so I delete this many words, I delete those. Notice how the text in the right column jumps right as it should. Okay? it flows smoothly. Or if I go in here and I type some more, if I go in here and enter and type in last night's game, all right, it's a football newsletter, and I style this up, maybe I make this a little bit bigger, maybe I change the font on this to something cool. Let's try something like, all right, that's cool. And I make that 24 point, there we go. Now you can see a text will flow smoothly. And again, that was white arrow. Click on it, click this arrow. Notice it has a little blue arrow because it's looking linking over. If for whatever reason I wanted them to not link anymore, I don't want text to flow from one text box to the other, then again, I'll grab the white arrow, click on the first text box in the chain, I'd click on it, and click on it again, and it would unlink that. Now when you see this red plus sign, some of you may see this when you're copying and pasting text in your documents. So the red plus sign, that means there's more text, or it's called overset text. There's more text to go, but your container's only so big. You click on that red arrow with your white arrow tool, click on the next text box, and it'll flow smoothly into there. So that's all there is for that. I'll have another screencast coming up with a picture trick. Love you all. Goodbye.